Hello everyone, today I will show you how to uh, fill those missing values. Uh, uh, there are three types of missing values according to Allison 2001. The first one, data missing completely at a random. The second one, data missing at a random. And the third one, the third uh, one type of missing value is uh, when data is not missing at a random. Uh, then the first one that is missing completely at a random if the event that leads to missing data is independent of observable variables and of an observable parameter it should uh, occur entirely at a random when data are uh, complete missing completely at a random the analyzed performance of the data are unbiased data is missing at a random uh, when the, uh, the event that leads to a missing data is related to a particular variable but it is not related to the value of the variable that has a missing data this is the most common case data is not missing at a random when the data is missing for a particular reason That's... Uh, in this uh, my original tutorial I want to show you uh, how to um, fill missing data using Excel stats for hydrological and, repos uh, and uh, meteorological data. According, according to Excel stats 2018 user manual, different methods are available depending on the needs and uh, the data. For quantitative data, Excel stats allows to remove observation with missing allows to uh, remove observation with missing value. Uh, the second one allows us to use a mean imputation method and the third one allows us to use the a nearest neighbor approach this, uh, the other one allows us to perform nipas algorithm the other uh, and the final one is it excel that allows us to use monte carlo multiple imputation algorithm having said this uh, i will show you how to miss those quantitative uh, data using Excel stats. Uh, therefore, this is my my Excel. Therefore, this is row, row rainfall data. Then I will show you how to how I feel this rainfall missing values using Excel stats. Uh, this is row data. Row data, when you get this row data, uh, it is already assembled in such a way. There is year here. This is date and this is months individual months january february march uh, there is here na na stands for not available that is na is missing value that is na na is equals to missing value this stands for missing value therefore i need to uh, replace this na value with the number therefore uh, before that this is row uh, data i need to uh, arrange this uh, row data in uh, a monthly basis for January the whole year January the whole year February the whole year March uh, should be uh, performed or arranged in such a way this is January for, uh, for January 1980 here is the data uh, for 81 year this is January months for 82 January months there is 30 31 that is 31 rows are available here 31 row here yeah therefore in every year have 31 rows here these are 31 data sets for february there is here 29 and 28 here this is 29 29 data are available here data available here 20 as you can see, okay. Mostly 28 and uh, 29 uh, data uh, rows are available, and uh, the rest are missing values. You're missing. This is null, as you can see. Therefore, I need to fill uh, these missing values. Then, for every month, you should uh, do the same for February, March, April. April, May, June, July, August. Then you need to prepare on the monthly basis because when uh, Excel stats performs uh, missing data 
uh, guess uh, because uh, it will reduce the error because mostly this missing data can be filled uh, using uh, the same or correlated uh, data, data type therefore uh, uh, that's why uh, we need to arrange on the means uh, on the monthly bads for reducing uh, inaccuracy of predicting those missing values that's why then uh, you will after installing this excel stat you need to before performing uh, this missing data analysis using excel you need to install excel stat uh, by downloading uh, you can also there, are, there is also a trial version that you need to install this excel stat uh, but for me i did uh, install this excel stat therefore i only just open I need to open this Excel stat open here. This is Excel stat icon. I need to click this one to open it. Therefore, I will start by just filling those January months for missing values. These are missing values. Uh, these are missing values. These are missing values. And I need to fill those missing values. Therefore, I will click here preparing data. Here, missing data is available here. Click missing data. Then, uh, uh, this is the data therefore i need to select this data delete delete this one then okay select this one select the whole data here then press this one okay then data type this is quantitative data of course there are two options quantitative and qualitative data therefore for me for this uh, kind of situation uh, click this quantitative data estimation meter there are around four or five nipples here algorithm nearest neighbor we plus by the mean remove the rows with missing data this these are uh, estimation meters uh, set by excel stats therefore for me uh, i need to select this monte carlo you can be a multiple mutation algorithm just for click this one number of mutation you can increase this one to 300 then uh, activate this option to output the result in the existing sheet this is difficult one therefore i need to uh, activate this sheet to, uh, this sheet belt tab therefore click this one okay uh, variable levels activate this option if the first cells of each column uh, contains the level therefore these are the first col uh, column of uh, row is a level therefore i need to activate this one okay then uh, press here okay okay click here continue there are 31 rows and uh, 37 column therefore i need to click here continue okay will take time these are variables and uh, now minimum value for 1980 this maximum value this and mean and the standard deviation for monthly basis it will uh, see it in such a way then this is uh, the report as you can see there is a new sheet created here missing value for January as you can see this bolds uh, these bold numbers are missing value, values which are uh, filled using uh, multi, multi, Monte Carlo multiple imputation algorithm. These are bolds are just missing values, and this, uh, these are approximation values. Therefore, this is, these are approximation values, as you can see. Now, this is the data, uh, these are the value completely filled in such a way. Now the problem is solved. We, now you can uh, just fill uh, the rest as it is. Now let's fill for February. Before that, rename it this missing for what? January. January. Missing. Then click here February. Then open now. The missing data. Then delete click this tab february february tab 
then make sure the tab is active okay before that February uh, is not uh, the type of data in which each year's data uh, the data numbers are not the same uh, it is I, I will fill using this I will leave the 30s row okay quantity data here okay I will leave it okay Monte Carlo click this one variable okay then press here okay continue okay you need to be careful uh, while you are filling those February months because uh, data type here number of dates uh, for every year uh, is different therefore you need to uh, drag here February here yeah rename it February here February you need to be care this row or if if this row uh, have had missing values you need to just uh, use other meters to fill this row alone therefore I need to copy this which copy here paste yeah now yeah observation 29 is this one the other it is are uh, not 29 therefore I will leave the rest as it is this is for February can also just uncheck or uh, delete this row here no border okay yeah this is our February data for every year therefore you can prepare in such a way for missing data thank you very much uh, for the next I will show you how to uh, perform data trend uh, analysis using a mankinder for today this is enough uh, thank you very much